Good morning, guys. It's the 11th of May, which is crazy. I found my NARS concealer. I think it's NARS. NARS creamy concealer. That sounds about right. And I love it. Like, I forgot how good it was. Like, I've just put a little bit on under my eyes, on some blemishes. I didn't, I missed this one. But, like, on my chin and stuff. And then I just powdered it. And I was like, oh, this looks so good. Um, I'm going to have porridge today. Because I feel like I should have... You know, some good breakfast stuff to start the beginning of the week. So I've got this one, which is two minutes to perfect porridge. It's a Quaker oats one and it's golden syrup. And you basically just put it in a bowl with some milk and microwave it. And it's good. So I'm going to do that. Hey guys, so it's 11am now and I thought I'd just have a little chat. My hair is still really big, even though it's been like a day, two days been two days so I took them out on Saturday didn't I um anyway <laughs> so I thought I'd just have a little chat with um what's going on oh I've got different contacts in today they look a bit weird I don't know anyway um right so with uh the end there was an announcement yesterday at 7 p.m which I actually missed I was reminded to think about it and then I missed it so whatever I don't know. But basically, no one even knows what freaking Boris Johnson said because he was just like, you can go out, but don't go out. But you can do this, but don't do it. Blah, 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 blah. So whatever. Basically, there was no point of me watching the announcement because nobody knows what he means. Um. Anyway, our company CEO has written a, like, sent, like, a message to everyone and was like, um... Apparently, they said, if you can continue to work from home, work from home. So we're working from home, which is fine by me because I am so anxious about even leaving my apartment. Like, I don't, I don't know. They said, like, small par parks and things are going to be reopened and stuff. And you can, like, go and sunbathe with someone who isn't from your household. I'm just like, all this cross-contamination that you've decided to, like, eliminate is just going to happen again until this virus is gone. Like... I don't, I don't even know, so I'm just like, I'm gonna stay at home, and like, because if I had to go to work, I would have to use public transport, because there is no way that I can go from my house to my office without taking public transport, or it taking what, however long driving in my car, and then I'd have to find parking, there's no parking there, um, you know, like London office, why would there be parking? So I'm just like, and if everybody in that entire office building, and that's just one office building out of like a whole bunch of office buildings, comes in in their car individually because people don't travel together, obviously, because like people live in different parts of London. Um, then like, where are all the cars going to go? Even if there was parking, there wouldn't be enough parking. I just... I'm just like, this is the worst thing ever. Um, the builders are still outside building. I think they're okay. I mean, they seem to be fine. And I guess because they're outside, it's a lot easier and things like that. But I'm just like, this is so stupid. Like, basically, we should still continue to be in lockdown. And like, they're talking about schools being reopened in like June, July or something like that for like especially younger children I think it's like reception year one and year six or something like that and I'm just like those are the kids that do not understand what social distancing is and won't be able to not hug each other because they're children <sighs> and they haven't seen their friends for like months this is crazy. This is week eight of lockdown. And, you know, I will happily stay here for another month because I don't want, I don't want this. I don't want, I don't want things to happen and then things to be, I just don't, I just, I don't know. But basically, thankfully, my CEO is very sensible and he's like, don't come to the office. So, looks like I'll be home for a while, but that's fine. That is honestly fine with me. I just tried to do a lace braid and it just looks so rubbish. So, yeah, that's coming out now. 
Okay, just thought I'd document that for you guys. So the porridge has really worked though. Oh, just take out my hair. We'll just leave it until I wash it again. <laughs> um, basically, it's one one something now, so I'm taking a little bit of a break from work. But the porridge has been really good. I've actually not been hungry for um for this whole morning, which is great because it means you know it's it's doing its job. It's brain food and whatever. Um. But yeah, I was thinking about doing some instant noodles because it's quick and yeah, but I think I might just do half a pack. Is half a packet too little to eat? I can just have a small lunch with a little bit of that salad mix because I've still got a whole bunch of that. So maybe just have a little bit of that and some vegetables and get my spring onions. They're growing so nicely. So um, I just read a thing that said you should change the water every day, which I was doing anyway, and leave in a well lit position. So I'm just gonna put it here in front of my balcony door for now. It's not well lit right now, but it will be tomorrow morning. So at least I'll get some, they'll get some sunlight. Guys, I just got suckered in. So I was browsing Buzzfeed and let me just click pay now. <laughs> I was browsing Buzzfeed and they showed something about um, Look Fantastic having a 15% off sale and um, you can, oh. You can get um, the Pixie Glow Tonic on it. And I was like, I really want to try that. So I looked up the ingredients and I was like, oh, it's glycolic, which is basically the toner that I've got now. But it also has aloe and ginseng. So I was like, hmm, maybe it's better. Um, so I went on to look fantastic and I looked at some other things and I bought some other things, including self tan. Um, because I only have one bottle of self-tan left and it's running out and I kind of want to use some today. I exfoliated last night, so should be able to use some after my shower this evening. I'm quite excited, actually. I haven't tanned for a long time. Um, just to give myself a little bit of colour. But yeah, so I was looking up. Actually, that tan's quite old, but I did just check it um, and it's still brown, which is good. Because if it's green... Which which most of my Saint-Tropez turned green. I was so annoyed um, before like we moved here. So I had to throw it out anyway, but so it's still brown, like as if it turns green, then it will be green on your skin, which is kind of gross. But this one was still brown. So I'm pretty pleased with it. However, they don't make that exact bottle anymore. I don't know what it's called now, but there's that brand is still there. So I just bought a different tan from that brand. So hopefully it'll be the same. But yeah, and I also, what else did I order? I ordered some under eye patches and some other things as well. So we'll just see. I opted for free delivery, so I don't know when it's going to come, but I'm not bothered. Don't need it right away. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm lying on my floor with my legs in straddle, just so you can... See, it's not a very good straddle, but we do what we can. Um, I just had class with Heidi, so you might have seen a little bit of that because I recorded a little bit. We did Bollywood Fitness, it was great. And um, and then I did a bit of stretching and it's now past 7 p.m. Oh, it's 7.21 already. Boris Johnson is talking nonsense. That was my battery signal saying it's low. But Boris Johnson is on the news talking nonsense, so I'm kind of half listening to it. This is in the front room, but I'm lying here because this is carpeted. It's softer for the body. So, yeah. I'm just kind of listening to what's going on. Basically, apparently, it's the same thing that was said yesterday. They're trying to clarify more of what's allowed to happen. So you're allowed to go outside and meet someone from a different household, but you still have to stay two metres apart. And you can play things like tennis or whatever together. But yeah, I don't I don't know. I might go see if I can meet my friend Louise um from down the down the street. She uh, did actually message me and ask me if we wanted to go for a social distance walk this week. So I said yes, of course. So hopefully that'll still be on and I can see her sometime this week and actually talk to a physical person. <laughs> Hello, so it's now 9.37 in the evening 
um so my door <laughs> i haven't showed you it doesn't shut because the top it's like doesn't shut can you even see it from that not really it like doesn't close properly so this is like the door's kind of half open because the top is like blocking it I just I don't know why <laughs> anyway I spent 30 seconds on that that was fun um I watched another three episodes of dead to me after I finished stretching I ate my leftover steak from yesterday so that was good um which means I didn't have to cook I just microwaved everything and had my delicious meal and I had some of my salad mix I didn't have my monge too so I've still got monge too left so it means that I can have whatever I have tomorrow with that um and I've still got a little bit of rice oh maybe I could have fried rice I think I need to make some chicken or something but yeah so I watched another three episodes of dead to me and then my eyes started going funny because when my eyes get tired they get a bit blurry and also because I didn't turn on the lights and I think my eyes tend to not like focusing on things when it's dark maybe and also these aren't the correct prescription I think my prescription got worse but anyway I don't have any more contact lenses so I'm just using what I have um the reason why I don't wear my glasses a lot at home is because it hurts my ears so if I wear them all day my ears tend to hurt and then I'm like oh so for working and stuff especially I don't like to wear glasses all the time I do wear them sometimes though um and obviously to try and take a break from wearing contacts all the time but yeah so my eyes were going a bit blurry and I was like I need to get out of there so I I f didn't turn on the light because it just went dark and I just didn't turn on the light because I was lazy and I was sitting in my chair watching dead to me <sighs> okay and now I'm gonna have a shower and go to bed and my hair is still fine look at my roots though you can you can see the rooted you can see it in my pictures that I posted on Instagram. But yeah, anyway, so I'm just gonna like chill. And I still can't believe I'm getting like 50 views per vlog, which is kind of crazy because like, I don't even know who watches these vlogs. It's, it's so weird because I, I personally really enjoy watching my vlogs, which sounds a little bit narcissistic, doesn't it? But, um, especially like so um when I go through my time hop which I generally look at every day it shows you what you did this day last year and then the year before and the year before so it's like what you did each year on this day which is kind of cool and so sometimes I see like oh I went on this holiday or I you know did this cool thing and then I'm just like oh I wish I could see what how it was and like kind of relive it in a way and that's what my vlogs like help me to do so um towards the end of April was when I went to America last year and so I was just thinking about how awesome that was and so I re-watched my vlogs from when I went to America because I was like this is so cool and I was like I miss Target and every time I look at my socks that I bought from Target I'm like target and I'm like but no one can go to target right now except if you want to get groceries we I always think it's kind of weird because target is like an everything shop you can literally buy everything from it and I'm just like I wish we had something like that here but then also I don't I don't know do they like cordon off certain areas so you can only buy groceries in target I just remember with my parents when we went to um America last year we we drove around and did a few different states but like every time we would stay we'd stay in like motels and some hotels and stuff and obviously you can't really drink water from the tap in certain places like I think especially in Florida and stuff I'm not really sure so we used to go to Target and just buy a big thing of bottled water just to have to drink and obviously when we're in the car and stuff it was good to um to do that to have water as well and like when we were going out to different places so yeah I just like just even having you know time to do that and 
my sunglasses that I was wearing the other day when I was sunbathing, they're from Target and I'm just like, all my great stuff is from Target. <laughs> oh, I love Target even though I don't even go to, like, that's probably like the third, well, saying that, we did go to Target like four or five times that trip. But before that, I'd only been to Target like once, once. So that was like, so fun and like how am I obsessed with Target when I can't even go there and I've never even really been there and I don't live in the States oh I don't know I don't think I could ever live in the States right now because of the situation and gun crime and all of that stuff I'm like freaking hate gun crime but I don't know I do really want to visit Hawaii though, that is one of my dream destinations, so one of my last, one of my last dream destinations, my previous dream destination is still a dream destination, is Australia, and because I got to fulfil that, which was so amazing, and I did vlog about it, so that's even better, because it means I get to relive it all the time, and I had the best time with my cousins, um, it just means that I'll, um, I went, I, I lived my dream to go to Australia and now I just want to go to Hawaii as my next dream. Basically, yeah. And also Japan, which actually might happen soon. I want to visit all the Disneylands because I've, I'm crazy like that. So yeah. Anyway, I've been talking for six minutes about Target. So I'm just going to go to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. And I don't know if I would be watching these vlogs if um, I was you because <laughs> they're not really great. I don't know if I'll ever watch these back, but maybe I will to see what quarantine was like and how crazy I got from being cooped up at home all the time. But yeah. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.